are you doing there? Guitar Summit 2018. You're running? Oh. Okay. I'm running Hello. Hello. That's not what I told. Hello. Hello, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Hello, guitar people. Hello, guitar Hello, guitar people. My turn. Hello, guitar people of the world and YouTube. Hello, much better fans on my channel. Not Andy's channel, which is over there. Hello, people that I do not judge because you're all wonderful and beautiful people. That goes for both channels. <laughs> oh. um, uh, we're here with the uh, Soul Tool guitars, not with the guy. I remember Soul Tool guitars as uh, really beautifully ergonomically shaped uh, instruments. Mm -hmm. And now they're differently ergonomically shaped. Now the Soul Tool guy is there, but I don't think we need him. We'll just make things up about sure. the guitars. And um, we'll point them at things. First of all, I want to point out one thing. Look at this. How tiny this case is! Usually when you have like, you know, headless guitars and stuff, they give you a very small gig pack. Okay, yeah, it's my birthday, so we're taking over Andy and Henning's channels, because that seems like Usually when you have headless guitars, they have like really tiny gig bags and stuff. Hey, hey headless but guitars would be perfect for Dave, because he can't frame. Well, yeah. It's but look at message. the... But, I secretly wanted a headless but guitar look at the case. How awesome is that? It's a tiny. It's a tiny. And what I want to say is, it's a tiny case. Moving on. You always have to move the guitar geek. This is what we're looking at. I'm going to try to piece some things together before I talk to the man from the brand, the uh -huh. brand man. Piece, not P. Um, first of all, I love blue and I love flame, so they already had me at hello, right there. Why are you filming this, Dave? It's already rolling. It's not content for you. <laughs> so, um, and then look in the back. It looks like there's a kind of a three-layer effect. Like the, from the knights that say, eki, 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 patang. You know? I mean, yes. why am I here? Tell me what you know about this guitar. Because I thought you were like you were going to do a video together, but all I'm doing is standing here looking well, good. I, I, if, if my job is to look good, then at least let me know before we start shooting. Your job is to look good and be the eye candy. Here, how about you present this? Okay. Well, I don't want to. <laughs> tell me what you know about it. I, I know nothing about it. Oh, then tell me that. that. I have never heard of this brand before. However, it is something I've never seen before. That's it's the like point. A, it's yes, a sandwich point. guitar. We've got some layers of wood, which I'm guessing are held together by these pieces. That looks like mahogany. Yes, it does. And mahogany. Yes. And then a thick, thick piece of maple. Big With actual, uh, which is, uh, you know, it has a bevel. It's a wood. A rounded edge. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I think I want to play it. I think it's, is it going to sit nicely? Yeah. I'm quite into headless guitars at the moment. It's something that's grown on me. Yep. And this is the same sort of color as my Ibanez AZ, which I'm also into. But with a nicer top. But with a nicer top. And it's a more matte look, which I'm really into. Satin. Um, I like what I'm seeing. So the sandwich thing is, that's the big question. Yeah. Because it's probably not glued together. It's sandwiched together, as Andy rightfully pointed out, with these big metal things. So the big question in, in guitar building is having resonance and having vibration being passed on from A to B and by having something glued together, it obviously builds one big block. So the question is how much does it go from here to there to there? Does the vibration get stopped or is it actually tonally a benefit? I'm looking at the man that builds them to get a yes or a no. Is that better than gluing? Come in here. Hi. Hi. I'm Marcel. Hi, Marcel. Nice to meet you. Hi. And Hi. Nice to meet you. Let's actually nice talk to people who so know well, things. Um, I'll let you go in the middle, sorry. Then, then you can... You just, don't, you just don't want to be near me. Okay, we want to uh, produce <laughs> this uh, guitar. The three pieces, they're glued together. But first, before they, we glued them together, we have to, uh, to paint them. Mm -hmm. Have the lacquer on it, but in the middle of the guitar, about this area here, mm -hmm. in every of these pieces, is need natural wood, glued and pressed with uh, eight tones together. So it, you have a uh, one piece mm -hmm. of wood for the, reson uh, the resonance and for the sound. What we mean with this uh, 
sound discs we call them. Okay. Okay. So you can you can uh, change the, the whole uh, vibration and the whole uh, resonance of the whole guitar. Also, and what we have also done with these screw, three screws, you can put this uh, neck, glue another, uh, bring another one here, screw it together, so you have a, a very different uh, sound. Also, so the neck is interchangeable. Yeah, in about ten minutes. Okay. And uh, we have here at the other guitar a special fretboard was made from the ETH in Zurich. The university. So we mean when we have uh, the chance to uh, have natural European wood as a fretboard, so why we don't have to take them? So the idea is uh, with the with the discs, it's more of a weight thing for resonance it's because resonant. because this looks unnecessary except for the fact that it puts weight up here. Yeah. No, this also for for the uh, the resonance of the. Th that's guitar. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You see it here. I thought it was for putting it on your fridge. Like... Look at the uh, nut. I know. Look at the nut. That's extremely original. Number two. Number two? Number two. Ah, number two. I'm like, <laughs> because I thought you went number two. No, no. You see, we have different discs here. That's Egon, he's the Egon masterpiece. Hi. Ah, hello. Give me uh, those and yeah. show them. Well, yeah, okay. Also different, you know, materials, so different density and all that stuff. It all is very intriguing in theory mm -hmm. because some, it looks clearly it looks like someone thought about a different approach to guitar building, layers, resonance, weight distribution. Now the big question is, does it all make sense and what do they sound like? And do you look really cool on stage with it? Which is really, like, Most how important. cool do you look? I mean, that's the biggest question. I think with that blue one, you would look like shit and I would look amazing. I think it's too small for someone of my size. Well, you want to say everything on you is bigger to be in proportion? Yes. Oh. Look at me. Stop looking at me. Um, we should talk to these people Man. to actually, at some point, put them on amps and make yes. videos, because that makes sense. No, we should amp these up, we should play them. I'm very, I've not been so intrigued yet at Guitar Summit. I've seen a lot of cool stuff, a lot of pretty stuff. I don't know what to expect, like at, um, no. at Gear Street, which Andy wasn't at. Um, we had um, aluminum caps from mm -hmm. Scott Dixon. Aluminium? Yeah, aluminium caps from Scott Dixon. And I was expecting them to be boxy and not very fast. Everyone was blown away because I just thought the idea of a super lightweight cap out of aluminium uh, doesn't work. And we were all wrong. So something like this, I'm like, what does it sound like? Let me jam on it. Let's gent a bit. No, it's not. Um, so we should talk about actually doing some videos with amps in a good environment without Andy. <laughs> um, so <laughs> thanks, guys. I'm going to shake both your hands again. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Soul Tool Guitars you. from Switzerland. Nice to meet you. And um, this is Andy, the guitar geek. Yes, I'm Andy, the guitar geek. Michiel is over there wearing Hi. a Mr. Gugu shirt. And it is Dave's cut your head off framer. <laughs> Jenna Kung Pao's birthday. Happy birthday to no one. It's no okay, fine. Um, animals. You, uh, you want to see? Animals at the end. Yeah.